hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you very much for your love and support as always i remain loyal so there's a first day you're coming across this channel for the first time this is agatha progress channel and i come across your way every blessed day in this channel as you can see we bring the latest i will bring the happening all over the globe and in this channel also we react to all videos yes all videos and i do hope you join the family right now this video you are about to watch i don't know what you felt about this video but i hope you do pick some sense from this video all right let's dive into the news in details we're called parasite today we are declaring that we the northerners are the economic heart of nigeria and nobody can address us as parasite we are the economic heart of nigeria the oil that is so being busted on today was discovered, harnessed, and the refineries were constructed with the northern Nigerian sweat, with the northern Nigerian economy, with the northern Nigerian money. The money of granite, pyramid, and cotton was the one that was used to re research, discover, and build the refineries that are some other part of Nigeria are claimed to be their own personal property. If that is the case, we also deserve, just like NNDC and Niger Delta Ministry, that should be a northern development ministry that should also be given the same amount of money that is giving, be given to NNDC because our money was the money that was used to develop the oil. That's number one. Number two, those that got education, early education from the south, south, southwest, and southeast, got those education from the northern economy, from our own money, from the northern sweat. And by the grace of God today, the northern Nigeria also, even if you are boosting of oil, has been discovered in Badeja village within Gombe, Bauchi, and Taraba, along the Chad Basin. And that was why those people are instigating the Boko Haram, so that there will be no peace in that area for us to be able to harness the, the, the oil and others that were discovered within that area. We have a deposit of gold in Brinungwari that is more than the deposit of gold in South Africa and Ghana. And that was why we are having the banditry also in Brinungwari axis so that we will not be allowed to harness it. Same goes to Zambara and that is why we are having the banditry within that axis. So we are saying enough is enough. If we will continue to coexist as in Nigeria as Nigerians, the northerners are ready to do that. That was why we have been accommodating. Today, the number of our people that have been killed and the property being destroyed in the south, south, southwest, and southeast, in Kano and Kaduna alone, the number of Igbos and Yorubas that are resident in Kano and Kaduna alone, are far greater than the number of northerners that reside in the entire south, south, southwest, and southeast. Also, the billions of investment of Yorubas and Igbos that is in Kaduna and Kano alone is far greater than the investment of the entire northerners in the south, south, southwest, and southeast. If you remove Bua and Dangote, those are international businessmen. So, if you think you will continue to destroy the life and properties of our people resident in your area, what if we decide to retaliate what you are doing? Who is going to be the loser? How much of investment do we have in the East? All our people that are in the East are either tomato sellers, wheelbarrow pushers, okada riders, suya makers, shoe shiner, <coughs> fingernail cutter. Those are the northerners mostly resident in the south, south, southwest, and southeast. But if you go to Kaduna and Kano and other parts of northern Nigeria, an Igbo man owns a personal house with CFO. He owns a skyrocketed building that he's even renting out to even northerners themselves. You go to the remotest village, you find him having a farm of his own, his personal farmland. You don't have any northerner that owns a house in the, in, in the south, south, southwest or southeast. So we are saying we are ready to coexist as Nigerians. But if you think you don't want it that way, then the north is ready to be separated from the south. In fact, we have more than enough to take care of ourselves and to make northern Nigeria greater. And while 
uh, you are calling for Odua Republic and calling for uh, uh, um, uh, Biafra, we in the north will remain as Nigerians. Northern Nigeria will remain as Nigeria because we are true Nigerians. So with this, we are passing this message <clears throat> to the federal government, to the eastern and western state governors, that every northerner that has been killed, every property of any northerner that has been destroyed, we are saying that the, the government of those states, that those incidents happen must pay our people. You must pay compensation. We will no longer tolerate the killing of our, of our people. We will no longer tolerate the destruction of properties of our people anymore. If not, we have done it in the past, we will do it again. We don't want to do it. So we are passing a word of warning. They said a, a word is enough for the wise. I repeat, compensation must be paid for every penny, for every dime that has been lost by a northerner. Be him a Fulani man, be him a Hausa man, be him a TV man, be him an Arago man, or any other tribe that is in the north that any of his property or life has been destroyed, the state governors will, will be responsible and they must pay us. If they don't, they should not blame us for whatever action we will take. We are passing a word of warning and we are giving a 30 days ultimatum from today we are giving at times we lack ways we don't want to listen to instruction Mazina the cannot have said this time without number but everybody pretend as if they don't care they don't know what is going on now you heard it from the horses smart where they said they gave the southeast governor 30 days to restore all that have been destroyed from the Funani henchmen, or else they are going to act. They still make us to understand in their words and say they are the true owner of Nigeria. That is why nobody is dragging this post with them. We understand that they are the ones that have Nigeria. That is why the Biafra and the Oduduwa choose to go. Being said that, let everyone be at alert in this period. Let us see what the response of the Satis governor is going to look like. If they are going to be afraid and comply by giving them all that were destroyed, then we know that we have no hope. Though we've already know, but let's watch and see. All right, my wonderful people, please, if you know you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please do want to click on that subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video.